Catherine. We all gonna end up unemployed riding around in this pile of junk. You're welcome to walk the 16 miles. Oh, I'll sit in the back of the bus. <laughs> you kiss me up. You have identification on? We're just on our way to work at NASA, sir. I had no idea they hired. There are quite a few women working in the space program. That's a clip from the 2016 biographical drama Hidden Figures about African-American female mathematicians who worked at NASA during the space race. One of the real women behind that story is Katherine Johnson, who passed away last year at the age of 101. But she wrote a memoir about her struggles with two of her daughters, Joylette Heilick and Katherine Moore. It is called My Remarkable Journey, and Joylette joins us now. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. How are you? I think we have Kathy now. Too. Oh, oh, do good. we? Okay. I know your sister was going to join us as well because uh, you both, you both helped co-write this book with your mom. Is that right? That's true. Yeah. And let me see if we can pull up the picture. Of, if <laughs> Catherine, are you there? We're trying to pull up your your picture. Well, we can hear her. We can't see her. L let me ask you. Uh, with, um, you know, many people only know this story through the movie. Um, Start video, Kathy. Yeah. What Sorry, did? It's on. <laughs> it is on. It is on. All right. What, um, how accurate was the movie? Was there something that they didn't get right? That's how most people know this story of your mom. Well, we, um, generally it was correct. Um, we, however, my, my grandfather in, uh, educated four, four children. He was not able to to drive so that was a that was a stretch a bit because he had to rent a truck and a driver to move the family uh, back and forth for those eight years mm. to uh, to to go to school so that was the biggest thing and he did it on his own he didn't get money from anyone else um, and I think that probably is the biggest thing that we wanted to to have known and Joylette, I'm assuming that this journey, this uh, book, is going to talk a lot more about your mom's early years. She was a child prodigy. And talk about that era, how she went to NASA from being a child prodigy in school in an era when it was difficult. Well, she, um, she I guess, kept on her mind the fact that one of her professors said that she would be a research mathematician. And she always waited. She said, well, I will teach and uh, really wasn't looking forward. She just said, I'm sure it'll happen one day. So this is what she did. And um, then an opportunity was presented when they heard that uh, NASA was hiring black mathematicians. And she said, oh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> uh, right down my alley. And she left teaching and after a year, because when she first applied, the uh, quota had been set for the year. So she um, applied and a year later was uh, employed. Wow. By uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Vaughn was her first teacher. Yeah. First, I... first supervisor, I'm sorry. We're seeing her with President Obama. How did she deal with the newfound fame after the movie? She just would roll her eyes and say, I don't know what this is all about because I was just doing my job. I, mm. I, I, I can't get it. So she's a, a, always been a very humble person. She was always interested in teaching others, uh, helping others to know what she knew, helping others to catch up or not feel negative about math. And you're, and the legacy is, you're a mathematician yourself, are you not? Kind of, sort of, but not like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all say that when we compare ourselves yeah. to our mother. We always fall a little bit short, right? <laughs> well, right, it's, right. it's a wonderful uh, story. The book is called My Remarkable Journey. Thank you for being with us. Your mom was a remarkable woman. Thank you. And Kathy, Kathy was on. Kathy's on. She's listening, I guess. And I think we're but, having a hard time. She's coming in and out. But uh, Kathy, uh, best to you as well. Thank you for joining us. And sorry we couldn't pull that video up. Well, thank, thank you. you so much. And thanks for showing her book. And I hope people will read it because it really, really is an interesting story that's not glitter. It's just down to earth and as honest as 
the three of us could right. make it. And just inspiring. Thank you both for being with us. It was. Thank you.